Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna explain a little bit about this little utility trailer that I have. Uh, somebody had asked me about it and was interested in where I, where I got it and all that stuff, so I'm gonna go into that real quick. So, as you can see, the red frame of the trailer, and, you know, the axle, the tires, all that stuff, that was a Harbor Freight Special. It's, they sell them there all day long, every day, forever. It's a four x four trailer. It came with just just the bottom portion, uh, no deck on it, just just the frame. It came in a box. It's not that heavy. Uh, it took me like probably 40 minutes to put it together. It's all in pieces when you get it. Um, bolted it together. I went ahead and went to Home Depot and after taking the dimensions of the trailer, I bought some plywood, quite a bit of plywood, and I got some two by twos. And I built this this box for it. Um, built the box. I built this little tailgate deal here. So it's just held by some chain. And all you can get this. At, these are at Harbor Freight. Um, same thing here. Uh, I just picked up some chain. I forget where I got that. Just cheap chain. And then these little rings right here. Just to hold the uh, chain onto these uh, these tie down points. So I used cheap hinges from Wal uh, not Walmart, sorry, uh, Home Depot. Just cheap little hinges for my tailgate. Um, I just self tapped them into the frame on the back here. Uh, this trailer has come in handy so much I couldn't even tell you. I I tow it with my quad. My little Honda over there, little Honda, my uh, Honda 400EX over there. I just bought a little hitch for my quad that they make specifically for this quad. Um, I don't think you can put a ton of weight on this because of how it's mounted here. Um, it's just four bolts down here, below the axle here, and then one up here. Ugh, it mounts this, stop dog, come on. Anyways, she's bugging me. I can't do this right now. Um, yeah, that's my hitch for the quad. <sighs> and uh, I use this thing all the time. This thing's great. I I don't know what... It, things would have been much dip, more difficult around here if I didn't have this trailer. It's just so convenient. It's so light. You can move it with one hand wherever you want. Um, the only thing I wish I would have done differently, um, probably is uh, I would have made this tailgate a little bit sturdier. There's a, well, it's not here anymore. There was a rock over here that I pulled out of the ground that was a little bit bigger than this one. I'm telling you, this is a big rock. I mean, there's my foot, there's the rock. 200 pounds. Um, I wanted to get rid of the rock. I want to get rid of that one too. But I had to wait because of what I did over here. <laughs> but we rolled, we uh, tipped the trailer like this, rolled the rock up onto it, and when we were doing that, because I didn't make this a little bit stronger, it ended up cracking right here in the middle. We got the rock in there, but it cracked this, uh, what do you call it, one by four. Wow, these gnats are back. Great. Um, so that's probably the only thing I would have done differently was uh, make that a little bit stronger somehow. But other than that, it's a great little trailer, especially out here in this application, just getting work done around the property. I put all these different tie down points all the way around it um, just so I can strap things down. I actually towed this, believe it or not, 320 miles from my home in the desert all the way up here, and it was fully loaded. Oh, about six, seven feet tall. It looked kind of ridiculous being towed behind my truck, but it worked. Um, that's how I got it up here. So, um, yeah, it's a it's a great little trailer. Everything's done by uh, screwed in, no nails. Obviously, I wouldn't use nails on something like this. It's just all screws. Um, and then the plywood deck I just bolted right into the frame 
Um, you might have to drill out a couple of holes in the frame to, to do that. I don't remember if I had to do that or not. Probably did. Um, but I, yeah, I just just bolted them down. Um, bolted it down and painted it. Use exterior black paint. Um, it's looking pretty weathered right now. Could use some more paint. This this whole deal right here, the tailgate, the way I close it, I'll show you real quick. So I ended up using, you know, a lock latch. And the sides, they don't seem like they're very rigid until you actually close this. Oops. But once you close it, you I latch it down with these little carabiners just like that and that's it it's latched and then it's pretty rigid after that point so I've hauled all kinds of stuff in here rock dirt wood this whole barrel full of water which is I don't know 400 and something pounds when it's full uh, it's a useful trailer. It's a good good little tool to have out here on the property. Um, and it's it's easy to move around. So that's that's the specs on this little trailer that I have here. I think that the frame at Harbor Freight, I forget how much it cost. It was like I don't know, 200 bucks, something like that. I don't remember exactly. It was a while back. Um, but they don't give you a title right there. They give you a uh, certificate of origin and you take that over to the DMV they give you a title for it yeah it's uh, completely registered for the highway uh, in Arizona we get permanent plate stickers on these utility trailers so you don't have to register them again but uh, yeah that's that's pretty much what you do so all right that's it for the trailer pretty simple pretty useful uh, pretty inexpensive uh, for what you get out of it so if you guys have any other questions on the trailer please leave them down in the comments below and that's going to do it for this short video you guys take care have a great day and i'll see you in the next video